Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a radical equation. We have x minus 2 over the square root of x equals 5, and we're supposed to find the value of x minus 2 times the square root of x. I'll be presenting three methods, even though you can use a third method, which I'll briefly talk about. Let's start with the first method. I'm hoping that you'll find the second method cooler, but let me know. So, my first method is involves substitution, obviously, right? Let's uh, set square root of x equal to t. And then from here we get the following. t squared minus 2 over t equals 5. And if you multiply both sides by t, t cubed minus 2 equals 5t. And then you get t cubed minus 5t minus 2 is equal to 0, right? We get the following. Now, if you wanted to solve this as a cubic equation using the cubic formula or whatever else, that will be the third method. So I briefly talked about it and I can continue with the first one, right? Okay, so the first method proceeds as follows. We're going to isolate t cubed and write it as 5t plus 2. So we're going to take advantage of polynomials here, polynomial powers. I was able to write t cubed as this. So what am I looking for? What am I trying to find? Well, x minus 2 times the square root of x is what I'm looking for, but since x is equal to, or square root of x is equal to t, that means x is equal to t squared, right? So, I need to replace x with t squared, that gives me t squared minus 2t. Okay, 2t or not 2t, that didn't work. Well, there's actually something called 2t, two, two because 2t two and 2t. Two that's kind of weird, but anyways. t squared minus 2t, that's what I'm trying to find. I have this and I need to find that. Can we do it? Absolutely. Very easy using polynomials. But it's kind of backwards because if I gave you t squared in terms of t and ask for t cubed, that would be easy, right? You would multiply both sides by t and keep reducing it. This time we're going to go backwards, which I think makes it more fun. So we're going to reverse engineer this polynomial. How? First by setting this equal to a constant. Obviously, the problem wants this to be a constant. t squared minus 2t, suppose it equals k. Now, what do I know? I know that I can isolate t squared and write it as 2t plus k. And then, find t cubed from here. What is t cubed? t squared times t. Simple. So let's go ahead and multiply k t squared, which is this, by t. And that's going to give us 2t squared plus kt. This is t cubed. Remember that all the time. But I can replace t squared with 2t plus k again. One more time. We, we got to keep doing it. So t cubed can be written as 2 times 2t plus k plus kt. But t cubed then becomes 4t plus 2k plus kt. Now I want to get the coefficient of t. So I want to write this as k plus 4 as the coefficient of t times t plus 2k. Remember k is a constant. t is the variable. And what was I able to do? Well, I was able to write t cubed in terms of t, and I need to find k, right? But I also know that t cubed equals 5t plus 2. Wow, that's amazing, right? Now, if you compare these two expressions, and by the way, these two expressions are true for all values of t, right? Or if one of them is true, then the other one is true. So kind of like an implication. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that the coefficient of t needs to be 5. So this needs to be 5, but this needs to be 2 at the same time. And that's possible. If k is equal to 1, we are good to go. What is k? k is t squared minus 2t, which is equal to x. Okay, that's not how you make x. x minus 2 times the square root of x. Therefore, we got the value we are looking for. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And I'm hoping that second method you will find cooler. That is the hope. Okay, so for my second method, I'm going to do the following. First of all, I have x minus 2 over square root of x equals 5, right? And I'm trying to find the value of x minus 2 times the square root of x. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. And I know this kind of comes out of the blue, and the, the color is blue, by the way. The idea is to break down the 5 so we can get 4 terms and factor this, make it factorable. And 
I think 3 plus 2 doesn't make that much sense because 3 is not a perfect square, but 4 plus 1 makes more sense. Actually, 4 and 1 are both perfect squares, so that's perfect. So here's what I'm going to do. x minus 2 over square root of x equals 4 plus 1. Okay, if you're seeing something like this for the first time, don't worry, don't be discouraged. Th this may seem like very different to you, but you'll get used to it. Now, what am I going to do? I need to put two things on either side so that they're kind of factorable and compatible and whatever. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring the 4 over here to the left-hand side and put the 2 on the right-hand side. Let's write the 1 first because that's better. All right, great. So what? why did I do that? You'll see in a little bit. Now make a common denominator on the right-hand side. That's, that's going to give you square root of x plus 2 over square root of x. And remember, we are looking for, what are we looking for? We're looking for the value of x minus 2 square root of x. And what is that supposed to mean, right? I mean, how can I find it from there? Okay, keep watching. You'll see how it goes. So x minus 4, and what is the relationship? Remember I told you I'm going to try to make them factorable. And now it's factorable if you kind of push it real hard on the irrational number set x minus 4 can be written as a difference of two squares. Make sense? Okay. How? I can write the x minus 4 as square root of x squared minus 2 squared. And this is just a difference of two squares. So I can write it as square root of x plus 2 and square root of x minus 2. Awesome. And that's going to be helpful. Let's see. Square root of x plus 2 multiplied by square root of x minus 2 following up from here. Uh oh, my 2 is like a really weird. And that is equal to square root of x plus 2 divided by square root of x. Now, can we cancel out the square root of x plus 2 from both sides? Yes, if it's not equal to 0. What if it's equal to 0? Well, it can never equal 0. Why? Because square root of a, if, if square root of x plus 2 is equal to 0, that means square root of x is equal to negative 2. That means x is a hmm, complex number. Well... We're working with real numbers here, so that's not going to work. Okay, so this expression cannot be 0, which means I can divide both sides by that and get rid of it. And maybe when we get rid of it, obviously, we have a 1 here, so let's rewrite it. And what is that supposed to mean? Cross multiply. Let's do it. Square root of x minus 2 times the square root of x equals 1. If you distribute, you get x minus 2 times the square root of x equals 1. And what was I looking for? I was looking for this one. And we got the answer. All right. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.